Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunt. Where it's... You know what? I am actually going to advance us to the Del Delafius Hills, Delphius Hills Fog. Just so that way we have a little bit... I mean, it's not exactly a new map, but it's new setting for a map. So we'll hop in. We're going to keep the crossbow with the revolver, and I'm going to turn on that X-ray visor. Just try to get these Stratosauruses down. It seems like a weird coding thing for them is if you do get the first shot hit and they run off, as soon as that fear, like, the flight instinct wears off, they immediately know where you are and they run, they rush you. Like, it's weird when we actually play. You can, we'll probably even show that off this episode. Like, unless they pick you up immediately, then when you get that wounding shot in, they're just going to, like, turn around and come after you. It's, again, we'll hop in and we'll probably be able to show that off right in a hunt, pro proper. But yeah, I'm really, really thinking at this stage the Switch version needs the updates and some TLC to it. I can't really speak about the other versions, like the... I think it's... Actually, I'm not even sure what other consoles it's out on. I think it's like... Is it PlayStation 5 and... I'm not even sure what the current Xbox is, if I'm honest. Like, I've never followed up for those two consoles, really. Oh yeah, this is going to be interesting to hunt on. Like, just even the fly-in, you can barely see much around you. I'd like to say this would be helpful for us because the dinosaurs can't see us, but to be honest, I'm not holding out much hope. And then there are things other than the Stratosaurus selected, so... I mean, I don't even actually think that would change the spawn rates all that much. It's just gonna be kind of hard to... ...get some visuals on anything with how it is. And because the game, again, it's... ...kind of more silent than you'd expect... Might make it hard even... Oh, just accidentally bumped the mic there. Again, I gotta be careful about how I'm kind of like arranged for the setup right now. It's just because there's this extra wire for charging the controller. I mean, I do have tracks. But there's no telling how far and how old they are. So it's kind of... Oh! Oh, look at that looming out through the fog there. Actually, I think I gotta... Oh! Jeez! Okay, so everybody should still be pretty calm here. The crossbow is definitely gonna make getting these silent takedowns easy. Like, you're not... Yeah, you're within the hundred, I thought so. Okay, now that is odd, because I thought that would have registered as the heart. And where is... I was thinking Kylosaur nearby you. Yeah, like, that's what I'm talking about. It doesn't pick you up from that first hit, so it runs off. But then immediately after it's done running... It knows where you are, and it just zooms right to you. That, I think, is not proper. I think it should be, unless it picks you up on that first hit, it runs off, and then it resumes its wandering. So, again, we're going to just go right back in. But that's where I'm having some pro issues with the game. Because it's basically either you get it the first hit, or you're screwed when it comes chasing after you. Well, we'll drop in again, try... I... The map is hard to hunt on just because of the vision thing, but... Like, it's also really, really hard when you have animals like that. That behavior just doesn't... It feels forced. If 
I'm hearing something or not. Again, hunting on the fog maps, it comes entirely down to what you really hear more than you'll see. Because by the time you see them, they are within very, very short range of you. Maybe work our way... It's like I'm hearing something, but I can't quite get a good direction for the sounds. Oh! Well, there's something right there. Yeah, like, again, that one I thought would have been a hard shot. And at least it take it down very quickly. I was really expecting that one to be a hard shot just to, like, put it down instantly for... Unless maybe because I was shooting through the front leg, it kind of has... Actually, I don't even know if penetration is a thing in this game. Oh, jeez. Hi. I didn't even realize there was that second one there. Whew. Again, it wasn't actually because I heard it. It was the screen shaking from its footsteps. Okay, but that should get you out of here. Yeah, okay, so that one's gone. Ah, uh, the other... You know, I'm going to let the other one run off as it has. I mean, who knows, it might even actually come stomping back towards us with how the AI is. Okay, no, it is. Everything's just kind of settled down because we... stopped moving. Oh, okay, so we got a trike out there. There's something over that way or not. I almost feel like I'm... I guess it almost sounds like, not feels like, it sounds like there's sniffing going on over there. Let's see about this trike, though. Where'd you go? Hmm. Yeah, the fog maps definitely are pretty eerie to hunt on. Oh, is that? Oh, no, just the way the fern was. Okay, I thought I was actually seeing like one uh, tight. Possibly Stratosaurus tail in the air, but it's just how that one fern leaf is. I guess technically frond. Oh, 
Like, I cannot even really see him in there. No, actually... Oh! Okay, so we actually have an ankylosaur right there, too. Okay, trike. Ah. Trike all for you, so let me... Okay, so what's your distance? 110-ish. So, my guess is he'll run off. Nope, oh, nope, he did go down. Okay, so I can't actually test that. I was going to test and see if we shot, he'd run off, and then after his fleeing is done, it'd be a charge right towards us. Now let's collect you and send you off. Okay. I'll just get up to a bit of higher ground for a moment, because again, with the ship able to flush dinosaurs out, they could run right into you without you knowing in this kind of fog. And I'd like to actually get a successful hunt in one of these episodes, because the fast, these past few I have not done that well. Okay, we'll continue along. Probably see about trying another watering hole. I think, again, those are... You're guaranteed there should be something around there, thanks to the bit of AI that has the needs to them. This is kind of more the style of map, though I'd imagine you'd want, like, a shotgun to hunt on. Just because, again, you'd be very close to the animals because you can't really see anything in the fog. And you need something for good stopping power close range. That's probably the one reason why fog maps don't work, is you don't have the right equipment on them. Like, I mean, sure, you could have the rifle, but I don't think it has the firepower you'd really need in a close-up situation. Now, I do feel like I'm stumbling blind through this, though. Well, maybe I shouldn't actually run, but... Yeah, I'll just... Oh, unfortunately, we don't have you, because we don't have the points for you on the roster right now. Which is actually kind of sad. If at least one of my hunts had gone correctly the past couple of episodes, I would have been able to have the full... Ah, you don't know, you're just probably going to... Yeah, you're going to run on your own, so... Shouldn't have to worry about you. Yeah, I'm not really... ...seeing anything else through the mists. Like, with your... with the sound not being quite what you'd expect, it's like an entire sense is almost, like, taken away from you. Oh, 
Oh, no Stegosaurus up here. Nope, oh, shoot. Meant to crouch. Although it looks like... I mean, Kyle sort of just ran to rest in a way. I thought he was going to start sprinting off, but... No, he is pretty just happy trotting along. Although he is... Oh, there you go, you're turning around, okay. And that might have been a little low for the shot. Saw some kind of tail here. I think it might have been a parasaur, but I don't know. Huh. Oh, there we go. Okay, you I should be able to get. There we go. So that's at least another animal for this hunt we can send back. I don't know if I should really try for a Ceratosaurus or I should just... Oh. Didn't even realize there was that one over there again that's... It'd be so silent you have no idea. Yeah, not really worth that much because of the modifier from the X-ray visor. And the entire reason I took it, I haven't even seen this hunt yet. Okay, aside from him just like running in out of nowhere, I think we're... Should I take just this back? Or, you know what, maybe I'll go for a little bit longer because last episode wasn't quite that long of one. I'm trying to keep my eyes on where that Parasaur went to. I lost it. And I think what I actually have to start doing is unlocking more of the tools, like start using the decoys more. Try to actually like call certain animals in and go off of that. Because right now I think I have been well, maybe a little bit of a blitz through, like, immediately getting the points, the new animal, new animal, new map. Although, honestly, the maps actually don't, like, cost points. It's actually something I kind of like, is that the maps and the gear are unlocked separately. They do both kind of get unlocked through currencies, but you don't need quite to spend... You don't have to spend on the maps, they're just more like passive with your score going up. Okay, no signs of anything there. I'm going to try back by this watering hole. Maybe something's there this time.
No, that's just a skull. I was trying to figure out, what, is that a weird rock formation? But no, that's actually just like a dino skull. Okay. Nope. Oh. Heard something over this way. There's something there, but I can't tell what it is. Oh, Parasaur. Okay. I think what we'll try doing is... Okay, where just were you? What's a... Oh! Oh, cr... Oh, looks like it's feeding. This is probably not going to go well. I think I might try for it. Ah, now see the extra visor wasn't even helping there. Oh. That did put him right down, though. So I think we'll take him, and that'll be this hunt done. So, seems like maybe if you get the long shots, it does take them right down. So I just missed on all of them so far. Here you are. Oh crap. Oh! Okay, so that was a surprise to find a second one right behind the other. Let's just get you guys and get the hell out of here. I thought I was kind of screwed there. Okay, and collect you. Actually, probably have to wait till... Yeah, okay, now I can collect you. Like, I really thought I was screwed once he started coming in at us like that, but... Whew. That's where the fog maps... Yeah, I think maybe you need a close-range firearm to make the most of them. And our turn. I'm just going to take the points before I do anything to kind of mess this up. Okay, right there. To flee them! Yeah, so I actually got a fair roster there. Two Strasaurs, two Parasaurs, an Anki, and a Trike. So 48, 60, 36, 37... 93 because of just the single hit, but then it really tanks if you take two. Oh no, don't tell me the game just froze from this. Oh, the game froze from this. So I don't even know if I'll have the points or not. Yeah, I... Now that I've been playing more, and, like, this is the second crash, I don't think you should pick up the Switch version yet of Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunt. It feels like there's a lot more bugs, glitches, and just problems with it than the other releases. Like, I'm gonna have to... Oh, sorry about that. 
I'm just going to quickly boot this back up. Oh, are you going to tell me there's an error? I know there's an error. I'll try booting that back up. Just take a look, see if I did lose or gain points. But, uh, yeah, no kidding. Just quick boot up, check, see if we what the outcome of that was. But, oh man, it's, it does make it sometimes hard to play when you run into stuff like this. Everything we just got from that is lost. We're sitting at what we were at. Oh, Dinosaur Hunt, you're not raising my hopes like I was hoping. We're going to have to leave this here, though, and I'll have to just try doing another grinding hunt because of how things have gone. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of this bit of the series. If you did like it, aside from the crash at the end, which does suck, be sure to give us a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, let me know in the comments right down below. If these problems keep persisting, I might actually have to put a pause on the series until we see an update, because, like, it's hard to want to keep playing when you have so many issues like this happen. But, we just gotta wait and see when the update hopefully and eventually does roll out. Until I catch you all in the next video, though, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.